Hi everybody, welcome to this video with special guest Matthias Hafner. And this time he brought his cajon with him and brushes because he has something special to share with us. What are we going to do, Matthias? Well, um, you can use the brush uh, as a nice sound variation to play cajon. And I like to play with one hand on the cajon and with one brush on the cajon. So it's a mixture of these two sounds and we're gonna use uh, a simple funk pattern okay. to show different possibilities what you could do with a brush. Okay, I hope you have fun with Matthias and see you later. There are many different possibilities to play brush on the cajon. <coughs> First of all, I want to tell you that it's good to use a brush a nylon brush, not from metal, but from nylon, because uh, otherwise you could um, destroy the wood on the cajon or it gets dirty. With this brush, for example, you have not this problem. And also keep care that the brush is um, wrapped with a plastic coat. So if you hit also with this part of the brush, uh, your cajon doesn't get hurt. Uh, there are different brushes on the market. This one is also possible. <coughs> um, okay. I want to use the brush now in my right hand. I'm right handed. This is my strong hand. And the left hand plays for now a simple rhythm, a uh, funk rhythm, only with slaps and a bass. My rhythm would be as follows. One, two, three, four. That's the basic rhythm. And over this rhythm, we're gonna start to play different patterns with the right hand, with a brush. The most simple pattern would be this. By the way, I put my hand here relaxed on the corner of the cajon, on the edge, and the stick hangs between my thumb and uh, first finger. So it's loose on my hand. The first possibility would just play the eight notes. One and two and three and four and five. We can also play only the up beats. One and two and three and four and. Like this, the rhythm gets more empty. We can also start to do what a drummer would do on the snare drum. Paint circles on the cajon. And this I want to show in the offbeat. Here I go uh, anti-clockwise, but it doesn't matter if you feel more comfortable this way or this way, that makes no difference. So, next possibility we have is to fill in the spaces that we don't play with the left hand. All the 16 notes that we don't play with the left hand we can fill in with a brush. It would sound like this.
Next possibility, we play all the 16s with the brush. This is possible in different ways. First is the staccato way, the short way, which just play the 16s like this on the cajon, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Another way is to play the 16s like um, a shaker. You imitate a shaker with a brush on the cajon. So you can just rub the, shake, uh, the brush to both sides of the cajon. Then we would have this pattern. Okay, <clears throat> sometimes drummer use a concept with the right hand on the right or on the hi-hat <clears throat> to play uh, groups of three sixteens. And um, we have, let's say, four possibilities to play uh, groups of three with the, with the right hand. The first would be one, two, three, four, ta, 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 ta. The second would be away from the beat. One, two, three, four. The third possibility would be one, two, three, four. And the last possibility would be this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, <clears throat> until now I played always the same pattern with the left hand to, to demonstrate the different possibilities with the right hand. You can of course mix and all the patterns and play whatever you want with the left hand or whatever you want with the right hand. Sometimes I use the brush also um, playing uh, different attacks on the, on the cajon. Two, three, four.
Okay, that's for this. Uh, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something and enjoyed. Until next time.